death in Londonderry of an IRA man who died in hospital earlier this week. Paul Kinsella was given a full paramilitary-style funeral, his tricolour-draped coffin flanked by men and women dressed in black, and the cortege led by two pipers and four drummers. The RUC did intercede at one point, but the funeral was followed, was allowed to continue after a delay of about 15 minutes. Kinsella, who was 30, died from leukaemia. He'd been serving an 18-year jail sentence for arms offences. There was a short delay in the funeral of an IRA man in Londonderry today after the police objected to paramilitary-style trappings. Paul Kinsella died in hospital earlier this week of leukaemia. Nine people dressed in black flanked the coffin of Paul Kinsella as it left his home for the short journey to the Holy Family Church in Ballymagorty. There, Father Raymond Murray accused the authorities of failing to show compassion by refusing bail to a dying man. The 31-year-old who died of leukaemia was awaiting judgment on his appeal against an 18-year sentence for possessing firearms. The police objected to the prominent militaristic display and there was a short delay while negotiations took place. The cortege then continued to the city cemetery, where there was an address by Sinn Féin's Martin McGuinness after the burial. City Hospital. He had been awaiting judgment of his appeal against an 18-year sentence for possessing firearms. Nine men and women dressed in black flanked the coffin, which had been draped with the tricolour and had gloves and beret on top. Vi nænor fær og span og ser at glæste nede i døde tivle så godt at brætte nede i næ bredt og smitte og lægge jer. IRA prisoner died of leukemia in Belfast City Hospital. He had been awaiting judgment of his appeal against an 18-year sentence for possessing firearms. Nine men and women dressed in black flanked the coffin, which had been draped with the tricolour and had gloves and a beret on top.